Hi, I'm Brett Kelly, Director of Growth and Development for Griffin Lumber and Hardware. The facility consists of a main warehouse which has our retail showroom, our offices, and our door manufacturing facility. The outside consists of two tea sheds and two umbrella sheds. When we decided to do a facility here in Warner Robins, we contacted C.T. Darnell Sunbelt Rack, gave them the preliminary idea of what we wanted to do. Clint did a layout based on his experience in the industry. Uh, once we had that layout, we started providing him with the list of all the materials, uh, the products that we wanted to bring to the market, how we wanted to go to the market. He took those materials, designed the specific layout of them in the yard, right down to the entrance and exit for our trucks, the turning radiuses. When our yard pullers start gathering material, they start at one end of the yard, make their way through, load it onto the truck, and out the exit it goes. Besides storing the inventory, one of the most important aspects of the facility design is the overall flow of the facility. When I say flow, I'm talking about inbound material coming in and then them shipping material going out. If you have good traffic flow on your site, then you win every single day not having to constantly fight bad flow, bad traffic flow, bad handling practices, all those things. Adequately pro provide the best environment for storing your inventory, but also the best environment to get that inventory pulled, shipped into the job site at the same time where all the traffic flow is happening. The better the flow is on the yard, the higher level of efficiency that everyone can operate on the yard. So the largest curveball in this project actually didn't come from the city or the county. The largest curveball came from the owner uh, when they decided they were going to put in the door shop into the existing lumber yard that we're in the process of already designed and, and underway in construction. So I had to look at the equipment layout for the door machinery, two separate lines, figure out the best placement for it in, within the building, and locate the raw material inventory that needed to support those both, both those lines, get it laid out properly, and still be able to function as, an, as a, uh, a lumber yard at the end of the day. When we decided to add the door manufacturing, it took up a lot of space that we had originally put towards something different. So space was gonna be a major issue. So when we got with Clint, he introduced the idea of the stackable rack, which is basically a three by five, three by eight, stackable three high. So we could pretty much triple the amount of inventory we had in the same amount of space. What's great about the stack racks is you can put three times the amount of material in the same amount of space. The other benefit to the stack racks is you handle the material one time and then everything from there is done with a forklift. So there's a lot less manpower involved. Once we had the initial design from Clint, we sat down to go over it and review it. We started asking questions and it became very apparent to us really quickly that he should just be the GC on the project. The easiest part of the process was the actual construction. I was on site several days a week to answer any questions that might arise, but it wasn't necessary because C.T. Darnell Sunbelt Rack provided weekly progress updates, which included schedules, progress, as well as pictures. This is very, very efficient. Everything is wide, so I can run two forklifts up and down is, you figure lumber co goes out to 24 foot, even 32 foot, so we can run our lumber in and out. The trucks are parked here, we can load from both sides of the truck. If it was smaller, you wouldn't be able to load it on both sides. Majority of the coal rates is not from here. It's from going to the jobs and picking it up off the job sites and bringing it back. It's designed what a lumber yard should be at another yard and possibly even what I would call a typical yard it'll be smaller it won't be laid out well there'll be sporadic buildings everywhere with different things and it might take two men three and a half hours to pull a typical 2,000 square foot framing packages whereas the way we got it laid out one guy can do it in about an hour this place is awesome. I think of it as the Taj Mahal of lumberyards, and I just love every aspect of it. 